Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to the Live Inspired Podcast with John O'Leary. Monday Moments, this is an episode that we record so that you may begin your week in awe and on fire with a burst of inspiration. So let's take the first step together with a question. How do you achieve something as a team far greater than what you could achieve or accomplish as a disjoined collection of individuals? Well, this was the question I was invited to answer last week for the United States men's national soccer team. Their coach, a gentleman named Greg Berhalter, and one of his assistant coaches and a dear friend of ours, Travis Thomas, invited me to speak about what real success requires, how to come together to achieve it, and the mindset necessary to win each day. To win each day. That means every day. Near the end of our conversation, individual players were able to ask questions, and one of them asked for my take on their three core values. The values are relentless, brave, and unity. I shared that for me, being relentless or being doggedly determined in the pursuit of a goal is a necessary gift because it liberates us to show up in ways for others that transform both our lives and theirs. That's the awesome part. Now, the example that I gave to support this was the story of my sister, Susan. At just seven years of age, her focus to save my life gave her the strength the courage and the drive to enter into a burning home, not just once or twice, but three times. This little girl with her dark hair goes in on her hands and knees through the smoke, through the heat, through the fear for cups of water, racing back outside, relentlessly throwing them on my face, risking her life for mine. It's a beautiful story of relentlessness, a beautiful story of love. And then when it came to bravery, I share that surprisingly, it doesn't have much to do with being fearless or maybe being daring. I think a lot of us think that's what bravery is, but rather it's what is frequently unpopular or maybe even untested for a cause greater than ourselves. To portray this idea, I shared the story of my fifth grade soccer coach, Coach Steiner. During my first game back after being burned, I was still barely able to walk and Coach Steiner chose not only to let me play, but to take the final penalty kick that determined the outcome of the game. You know, so many spectators in life are focused on winning some inconsequential game, whatever that game might mean for those individuals. But Coach bravely revealed to everyone watching what real victory, what real courage, what real bravery looks like in action. But I could sense it was the third value, the one called unity. That is the most important to this team and the greatest differentiator from the other national teams. You see, the United States men's national soccer team consists of guys from every region and from every demographic from the country. A few trace their lineage in the United States back more than 10 generations. Others are first-generation Americans. One of them is a citizen for only 13 months. Some of the players come from extraordinary wealth. Others were raised in poverty. A few are wildly conservative. Some enthusiastically liberal, while many fall somewhere in the middle. In other words, they are a wonderful representation of the country that they represent and their unity. A wonderful example for all of us to model. To celebrate the power within their unified diversity, I shared the story of the hospital team that supported my recovery All those years ago, an Armenian physician, Dr. Vachia Vajan, led the team. My primary physical therapist was from Syria. The hand surgeon was from Italy. A Jewish surgeon and a Catholic anesthesiologist collaborated for nearly every single surgery. The team responsible for my daily care over those many months included every race, every sexual orientation, every gender, every age, every political and religious affiliation. Some were wealthy. Others worked several jobs to simply stay afloat. Regardless of their differences, they were powerful because of their unified purpose. They chose to fully show up each day. They utilized their individual gifts and they galvanized as one team for a cause greater than themselves. This is why I am alive. This is why I survived burns to 100% of my body and a less than 1% chance of surviving the first night. Before the session ended, I acknowledged that there is always the possibility that other teams, that they might have more talent. This is certainly something out of our control. 
But I reminded them that their willingness to practice relentlessly, to play bravely, and to come together in absolute unity will set them apart. On Sunday night, the men's team played a team that crushed their World Cup hopes in 2018. This year, playing as one team with one purpose, the United States national team won 7-0 against Trinidad. Playing relentlessly, playing bravely, and playing unified is elevating the United States national soccer team. And my friends, here's the good news, and this is what it means for you and me. I am optimistic that these same values will elevate the lives of the citizens cheering for them too. As you start your week, as you begin this day, as you wrap up this podcast and get ready to roll into the next one, I invite you to live relentlessly, to live bravely, to live unified. It will change not only your world, but also the world. My friends, the headwind is real, the challenges are fierce, but the foundation is firm, and the best days are yet to come. So for this time, and until next time, my name is John O'Leary, and today is your day. Live Inspired.